it's a pleasure to talk to you. I'm Carl from Games of Brains Headbang Life. We call ourselves GBHBL for short, though. Uh, yeah. This is such a long winded title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But yeah, so I'm pretty excited to see you guys. It's, it's a pleasure to t- speak to you. How has the tour been so far? It's been great. It's been great. I mean, uh, you know, good attendances everywhere. Yeah. Well, I heard that tonight is maybe sold out. I don't Ooh, know. Okay. Uh, close to, uh, if it's not. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a great journey with this guy from Guar. And yeah. We're having a laugh, you know, almost every night. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. When you say that, admittedly, Guar and Voivod is not like a natural pairing. But the general feeling, just the response, so you know, you look on your social media and your Facebook and your responses to that, yeah, yeah. everyone sort of seems it's working really, really well. Did When it came your way, did you kind of think, ooh, with Guar, that's, that's odd? Uh, no, actually, uh, what happened is like the boat managing mm-hmm. <clears throat> Guar and Voivod were like, you know, got the uh, kind of like a offer from, it was... It was Somebody said, "Okay, maybe, maybe. Do you think it fits?" Blah blah. blah. Yeah. And then asking their management, they were like, uh, "I'm not sure, I'm not sure." And then, and then um, when they asked the bands, yeah, we said, "Guar, of course, yeah, we we'll go for Guar." <laughs> and they said the same thing, "Yeah, Voivod, we love Voivod, let's go for it." And then, um, yeah, so here we are. Uh, we're having such a good time with these guy. Well, it's been, you know. Both we both we we are old bands. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we've been there forever. We we know how it's like mm. to tour and blah 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 blah. blah. Uh, uh, but what really kind of fits? It's like we're both kind of unique in our way. Very much so. Um, they're unique in what they're doing, and we are unique mm. in what we're doing, and that's why it it copes, you know, in a sense, and and it copes because it also. You know, Voivod is has a like a an imagery of chaotic post apocalyptic sci fi whatever concept yeah. behind it, and but we don't wear custom yeah yeah that's anymore so <laughs> anymore. <laughs> but we're doing it in the early days, so maybe one's influenced the other uh, at the very early stage when we started up. It's and almost like when you finish your set, then the whole, this is the result of that post-apocalyptic sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here they come, what the yeah. mutants are. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So it fits so well. And, yeah. uh, uh, we really get along. I mean, uh, like, a, like a big family. And yeah. A big tour bus that's falling apart. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Well, you kind of have to, really, because this is a long one. I mean, you start on, what, the 22nd? And barring your yeah, day, yeah. you just kind of all the way through to December 14th. Yeah. Uh, and then... After the tour, we're going for one more show mm-hmm. in uh, Turkey, Izmir, Turkey. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, and then we go home, of we course, for home Christmas. That, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be. We still have two weeks to go. It's yeah. been it's been such a crazy start, though. I mean, uh, we had a lot of problem with the buses and really? the transportation, and uh, and. I mean, it was really crazy. It, like, yeah. Almost every day there, there was something else. But Just something always coming yeah, up, yeah, particularly yeah. the winter months when everything, you know, yeah. a bus can break down way more. Yeah. So has there been a, at this stage, I mean, you're only about, say, a third of the way through, any particular highlight, particularly with the UK shows, because you're coming to the end of the UK run, is there anything that's kind of stood out for you at these shows that you thought, yeah, you know, I'm going to remember that? Uh, I mean, every show in the UK, I mean, mm. it's, it's particular, especially, you know, we're... we're we're from America, and, yeah. and so uh, Europe, and, and particularly in in in, uh, in England, mm. it's it's something that you know you go out and then oh my God, it's another world. You know what I mean? For yeah. us, for us, we're just like so happy to be here. And when we have like a little time in the afternoon, we go visit, we go take a walk, and just wandering around like wow, this is so. There is so much history here, yeah. you know? and it's like uh, for us, you know, we, we 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 enjoy it so. It's a great, great feeling and a great trip, and so the day goes really fast. Yeah. <laughs> and then oh, sound check, and then up oh, this and that, and then finally you're on stage with a lot of people chanting and cheering. Yeah, and, and it's been great. I mean, we we always been have we always had a really good response here in uh, in the UK. Yeah, no matter where. Glasgow show was crazy, you know, and many places. 
And so, it's fun. Yeah. I mean, you 30 years, you've been doing this such a long time now, 30 plus years, 36 years actually in total, right? 36 yeah. this year. Yeah. It's 35th anniversary last year. Yeah. Yeah. Do you find that the years have just kind of flown by? Or do you, can you kind of count like every scar along the way, that kind of thing? Uh, uh, both. I would, yeah. say, I would say, yeah. I mean, it's as, as, especially when you get older, you know, you try to uh, uh, manage yourself in a sense, but mm. it goes so fast. You, you try to push the brake pedal, but it's, it's time flies yeah. and you're going to that fast lane mode. And, and at the same time, you know, you, you you achieve stuff one one after another, and but you have to enjoy the most of it while it's there. Yeah. Because you kind of finally realize that okay, two to six years in the making, mm. and then you see Slayer going, and uh, you you feel like maybe we're towards the end. And right. It's like, and it's like it it's kind of scary in a bit. Uh, but in a sense, you know, we're, it's part of it's part of it. I don't know when it's gonna it's gonna end, and but, how and why. <laughs> but, yeah, the why but I think the why the is part, a, yeah. there was a big part of it. Um, you've but, always survived so many changes in the industry up to this point from the start. I mean, you've you've been through the yeah. biggest changes uh, musically and how people like you know. From CD sales to downloads and stuff like that, you've survived all of that. Yeah. And there's a good argument to say you seem to be at your strongest now. Do you think that's the case? Yeah, it's yeah, but it's tough in the same mm. time. Yeah, you uh, you know every challenge in, in your life gonna make you stronger in a sense. But um, sometimes I feel like that it's unfair. Yeah. And 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 it's like uh, uh, things have changed so drastically in the last let's say 10 15 years yeah uh, the music industry is not the same uh everyone's kind of like struggled to survive yeah. you know even for promoter for the, i mean the whole the whole thing you know mm. it's just not only musician it's just it's global in a sense yeah and of course the musician is the one that is the last to get paid of course <laughs> and so and so it's a down downfall situation and I don't know where it's gonna when it's gonna hand you know or or how it's gonna hand or or at a certain point there will be like a breakdown or or, or, or that all things gonna collapse I yeah. don't know I don't know it's it's a weird weird uh, situation that uh, we're living uh, I mean every musician has to go through this but uh, uh, any uh, in the other way, you know, we keep the faith that you yeah. know we're a band. We uh, we we pass through a lot of uh, good things and bad things mm. along the way. You know, when your band member dies and stuff like that, and we manage to survive till then. So well, till it. now, I mean, and so it's, maybe just this is just a little something that is bugging me, but. Mm. We, the main thing is like every night when we play, we got the reward of playing live in front of people who appreciate music. Yeah. And people still go out. And it's hard today mm -hmm. with, with all the influences of the media and blah, 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 to actually make one move out of his house, out of his couch, get up, dress up, yeah. <laughs> and go to a show. It's a, it's, a, it's a step that people are doing still. And that's I appreciate it so much when people go out and, and uh, see live shows. Have you had if you've not outside? So the queue's beginning to grow already now, right? So people want to come in and early and see to support yourselves, Child Rain. Um, so they're clearly not just here for Gua. But you look at the age range of who's out there. Yeah. And it's not like oh, because you're an old band, you've already brought the old fans with you. The age range out there is anything from from twenty year olds all the way up to 50, yeah, yeah, 60 yeah. year olds. So clearly, it's still got that relevancy. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, sometimes we end up like. Uh, you know, people from, you know, 50s years old with their kids, mm -hmm. you know, the youngster, like a <laughs> teenager or whatever. Uh, it's, it's fun to see there's the next generation yeah. going and, uh, you know, I mean, it, 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 it tells you that people still want to be entertaining in, yeah. in a real 
world, not only on a tablet or on, on their phone, you know, and that's that's good. It, it seems like regardless of the issues in the industry and where the money's going and so on, people still, particularly in rock and metal, have that hunger for live shows. Yeah. It's just whether or not you can afford to come from America all the way to England and so yeah, on. That's, I guess, the biggest problem. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's it, it's always been... I mean, it's it, it's always been tough, let's say. Yeah. But but now it's getting kind of like uh, dowgy, and you got to figure out how we're gonna make it. Yes. It's just like yeah. how we're gonna make this, you know? It's just like before you you wouldn't for you wouldn't ask this question. Of we're course. We're just going, but now you have to be more strategically. Uh, open for Starts turning solutions. You into a <laughs> yeah. Turning you into a businessman and yeah, as yeah, yeah. well as a musician almost, I yeah, guess. Yeah, exactly. And you pick a really fun time to come to England. You know, we've got elections on and we've oh, got yeah, yeah, right. each other apart over yeah, it. Yeah. So you picked a great time to come and hang out here. Yeah. But that's a good thing as well because like we know, music and stuff, it's a good distraction from all the kind of sometimes rubbish things in life and you just go yeah, for a couple of hours. Yeah, that's the way to go. I mean, yeah. people listen to music to get out of the problems, you know, and... And that's still uh, that's still a remedy for many people, you know, to sort of like not getting bored or be entertaining or whatever reason, you know. Just sometimes. lose themselves yeah. for a couple of hours, I think, a lot of the yeah. time. So back to the show then, and this film specifically. Um, how 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 heavy centric are these shows on the last release? Obviously, it was September last year. Yeah. Uh, is this still kind of part of that cycle? Yeah, we're still we're still surfing on that wake. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and uh, we're ch switching songs uh, on uh, specifically on this set list. Yeah, we've been uh, adding new songs, and we um, we try to modulate the set list uh, all the time. You know, we're never really happy of what's going on. Oh, we're course. just like, okay, this is a good one, but maybe <laughs> switch this one to this one, and then blah blah blah. Uh, so it's always a work in progress of uh, you know try to do the best. The best way to put it, to yeah. put things together. It's gonna be interesting. Old, for you old song, too. new songs, blah blah blah. Uh, and so far, so good. I mean, uh, it's a really powerful set list. It's a really yeah. strong and uh, uh, energetic. Uh, fits, fits fits exactly. Fits right. Yeah, what, right. yeah. So last thing then. Going back home after the Turkey show, going to spend, you know, enjoy Christmas, so on, and then New Year 2020 starts. What's uh, what's cooking in the background? Uh, what's <laughs> cooking? Maybe, uh, well, we were planning to, uh, at first we were planning to go to South America, but mm. I don't know if it's going to happen. Oh. There's a lot of things going on down there, and I don't know. I, I hopefully would love to, uh, hopefully we'll, we'll make it. Yeah. And... Uh, there's, there's a few things that just really out of our control. Of but, course. Uh, of course, we'll be on some writing modes. Yeah. You know, slowly, but you know, we gotta get uh, going with with the writing because it's been a really busy, busy year. Yeah. We didn't have time to do anything except you know for just put a little, few ideas together, but it's not like really in the process of really uh, get ourselves together in the same room and. And so maybe we're gonna do that, and uh, just to start the process. You know, yeah. once once you start the process, then the first you have no steps. choice to, to 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 keep going. And so you trip down that hill, and then yeah, it's yeah, 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 harder yeah, 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 exactly. So, uh, but there's a few things going on. We're gonna yeah. re release a video next year uh, from uh, a song called "The End of Dormancy" that's on the way. That's gonna be our fourth video on this record, and. Uh, it's supposed to be to be ready in January. Okay, cool. Uh, to start the new years and um, yeah, get into pro the process of writing and and so Business on. Business as usual, basically. Yeah, yeah, That's exactly, exactly what people want <laughs> to hear on the stage.